It's been almost six years since Coney Island has seen the blue octagon logo, famously belonging to Chase Bank, and the community is happy to see its return. I'm excited. I sit here and they're hidden under the window. They blow me kisses, high fives. It's an amazing day. Easier access to banks means better financial health for the residents of Coney Island. According to the mayor's office of the chief technology officer, 33% of New York City residents are unbanked or underbanked, meaning they have no bank account or do not utilize the banking system and rely on cash more than checks and credit cards. A lot of people do banking online, but if you think about communities, particularly communities of color, where people don't always have access to online resources, having a retail branch in their community where they can access everyday banking services is really, really, really important. The aftermath of Superstorm Sandy marked the beginning of the end for Chase Bank in this neighborhood. I remember Chase was working out of a temporary trailer and those conditions were not good for the residents are not good for, for the staff here at Chase as well. Residents say having this back in their community is beneficial, especially for James, who only rides a bike and used to travel to the branch in Brighton Beach. This is very convenient because I only live right down the block. With this warmly welcomed new addition to the neighborhood, supporters believe this is a new chapter for the community and the beginning of a financially healthy future. In Coney Island, Michelle Ross, Pixel 11 News.